Hey, Donald, your secrets that are not so secret, but the corporate media wants to cover it up. We here at the Midas Touch Network are going to expose it at each and every turn. So, for example, where Lex Friedman asks you the following question and you respond like this. You are opening the door for us to have a little bit of a conversation here with the 3 million plus subscribers of our network and the 3 billion plus views that we've gotten in the last 18 months. Here, play this clip from Donald Trump's interview yesterday. You're opening up Pandora's box here. Here, play this clip. But a lot of big people went to that island. But fortunately, I was not one of them. It's just very strange for a lot of people that uh, the list of clients that went to the island has not been made public. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting, isn't it? Probably will be, by the way. Probably. So if you're able to, you'll be... Yeah, I'd certainly take a look at it. Now, Kennedy's interesting because it's so many years ago. You know, they do that for danger, too, because, you know, it endangers certain people, et cetera, et cetera. So Kennedy... Uh, is very different from the Epstein thing. But yeah, I'd be inclined to do the Epstein. I'd have no problem with it. Yeah, and I think more people actually need to ask you about your connections with Epstein because we're bringing it up here a lot on the Midas Touch Network. And I'm going to pull out some receipts in a moment. I'm going to start showing some depositions. I'm going to start showing flight logs. I'm going to start showing message logs. I'm going to start showing Donald Trump's statements about Epstein. I'm going to start showing Donald Trump's statement about Ghislaine Maxwell, who trafficked for Epstein. I'm going to start showing some photos of Donald Trump with Epstein. I'm going to start showing some photos of individuals who were actually taken from Mar-a-Lago and brought to Epstein and later trafficked. We're going to go through it right now, okay? Here is uh, Donald Trump being asked this question by Fox, whether or not he would release the files. And notice how nervous he gets when he's asked these questions. Here, play this clip. Would you declassify the 9-11 um, files? Yeah. Would you declassify JFK files? Yeah, would you, I did, I did a lot of it. Would you declassify the Epstein files? Yeah, yeah, I would. All right. I guess I would. I think that less so because, you know, you don't know. It, you don't want to affect people's lives if it's phony stuff in there because it's a lot of phony stuff yeah. with that whole world. Uh, but I think I would. And here's the thing, folks, the files are out there. Yes, there may be some additional files that aren't, but it's out there. And the survey says Donald Trump's name appears on it over and over and over again. I know the MAGA Republicans said, oh, you know, if, why, why isn't anybody talking about the list? Do you know, we never even heard about it. Well, it's because Donald Trump's name is on it over and over again. So now it's taboo. We can't talk about it. We're going to talk about it here on the Midas Touch Network. So let's break it down. Buckle up. Let's go through the data. Right in 2002, 2002, Donald Trump said about Jeffrey Epstein to New York Magazine, he's a great guy who likes women on the younger side. Donald Trump meant girls, but he said, who likes women on the younger side. Donald Trump partied with Epstein all the time. They were good friends. Donald Trump didn't have to go to the island because they were neighbors. They were neighbors in Palm Beach. They would hang out with each other a lot, and Epstein would find girls at Mar-a-Lago. I'll give you one example of it. Virginia Jufre. She was homeless. She got a job at Mar-a-Lago. Ghislaine Maxwell went to Mar-a-Lago, found Virginia Jufre, brought her over to Epstein. Epstein trafficked her. Virginia Jufre worked at Mar-a-Lago. That's what, what her job was. Now, what did Donald Trump say about Ghislaine Maxwell when he was asked questions about her? Right? I mean, what, what would you respond if you were asked a question about someone who was on trial for sex trafficking, what would you say? I would say that person is absolutely disgusting, and I hope that the law puts that person away for the rest of their life. It's the response. Donald Trump says, oh, I wish her well. I wish her well. You're play the clip. You wish her well? The woman who trafficked for Epstein and brought Epstein, the girls? You're play this clip. Um, Ghislaine Maxwell is in prison, and so a lot of people want to know if she's going to turn in powerful people. And I know you've talked in the past about Prince Andrew, and uh, you've criticized Bill Clinton's behavior. I'm wondering, uh, do you feel that she's going to turn in powerful men? How do you see that working out? 
I don't know. I haven't really been following her too much. I just wish her well, frankly. Uh, I've met her numerous times over the years, especially since I lived in Palm Beach. And I guess they lived in Palm Beach. Uh, but I wish her well, whatever it is. Uh, I don't know the situation with Prince Andrew. Just don't know. Not aware of it. Mr. Oh, yeah, Do you go back and you look at Donald Trump's history, right? Donald Trump. Um, with one of his jobs, one of the things that Donald Trump spent his daddy's money on, right? Trump's born with a golden spoon in his mouth, can do anything. And he spends his time in the 1990s throwing beauty pageants with 14-year-old girls, potentially girls even younger. Here are the girls. This was the look of the year competition that Donald Trump hosted at his venues. And then those girls were partying on a yacht in New York that Donald Trump was on with other older men who were old enough to be these girls, grandparents. And it was people who were on the yacht told to the Guardian um, would say that they were grinding on these 14-year-old girls. You see the photo of Donald Trump with them right there. Donald Trump recently posted the photo of himself with those girls on his uh, Truth Social account as well recently what to make himself look what it's absolutely gross and disgusting i said i would show you the flight logs here are the epstein flight logs donald trump's name is all over the flight logs i told you i would show you epstein's call and message logs donald trump's name is all over epstein's call and message logs i told you i would show you the deposition transcripts here are the deposition transcripts. Donald Trump's name is all over the Epstein deposition trans transcripts. One of the victims that Epstein trafficked said that uh, when they were on Epstein's jet, that Epstein said that he was going to, or he did, fly them to Atlantic City um, to stay at one of Donald Trump's properties in Atlantic City. Speaking of Epstein's jet, the Trump campaign right now has used the Epstein jet on multiple occasions. Just think about that. Obviously, Epstein is dead, um, but his plane um, was acquired, and, and that was a plane that Trump was on before, and that plane is now being used. It's been wrapped with Trump 2024 indicia on it, but the Trump campaign is flying around right now in Epstein's plane that Epstein used to traffic girls on. That's the, you, you could, there's a lot of G5 jets and G6 jets. Bezos, I think, just bought a G7 jet, I heard. There's a lot of, there's G450s, G3s, the Bombardiers, a lot of jets out there. Um, Cessnas, Citations, there's lots of jets. That one jet that you are is the Epstein traffic jet. And then what we're not supposed to ask about it over and over and over again. And you, you can see that the um, that the numbers of the of the plane are identical. So we we know that they're the same they're the same exact plane. I'll, I'll show you Donald Trump in his own words, right? I'll show you in his own words. I mean, this is him talking about inspecting girls naked at his beauty pageants. Play the clip. Well, you could also say, as the owner of the pageant, it's your obligation to do that so so you have done that now, tell well, me i'll what tell you the funniest is that i'll go backstage before a show yes and everyone's getting dressed and ready and everything else and you know no men are anywhere and i'm allowed to go in because i'm the owner of the pageant and therefore i'm inspecting it you know i'm inspecting right, i right. want to make sure that you're like everything doctor, is good you're, you're there yeah the dress is everyone okay you know they're <laughs> yeah. standing there with no clothes is everybody okay and you see these incredible looking women and so i sort of get away with things like this is what trump said about Lindsay Lohan. She was either 17 here or 18. I think she may have just turned 18 at this time. And he talked about having sex with her because she was mentally ill and that attracted him to her. And he says, mentally ill women are the best to have sex with. Here, play this clip. What do you think of Lindsay Lohan now? I think she's hot. There's something there, right? Yes. Do but you, you have to like freckles. I've seen a, a you know, a close up of her chest. Yes. And a lot of freckles. Are you into freckles? If the father's a wreck like the way he is. Right. You imagine the sex with this troubled Yeah, you're probably right. She's probably deeply troubled and therefore great in bed. Back in the day. How come the deeply troubled women? Yes. You know, deeply, deeply troubled. Right. They're always the best in bed. If for some reason what I said is true, I mean, they're, they're just unbelievable. I can tell from the... You don't want to be with them for the long term, but for the short term, there's not... Here's Donald Trump's deposition where he was asked in a case where he was found liable of sexual assault about his statement that when you're rich and famous, 
um, women let you sexually assault them. And here's what Donald Trump uh, said in his deposition. Play it. And you say, and again, this has become very famous in this video. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. Just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the pussy. You can do anything. That's what you said, correct? Well, historically, that's true with stars. It's true with stars that, that they can grab women by the pussy? Well, that's what it's. If you look over the last million years, I guess that's been largely true. Not always, but largely true. Unfortunately or fortunately. And you consider yourself uh, to be a star? I think you can say that, yeah. And, and then if we, again, I'm just showing you his own words here. And then finally, when Donald Trump spoke to the young Republicans, the young Republicans, these are high school students, college students. This is Donald Trump's address to them in December. And what Donald Trump said to the young Republicans is that the most courageous thing that he's done, this is what he said. He said he spoke to a military general who told him the most courageous thing that he's done is call sexually assaulting women locker room talk. And Donald Trump gave this message to high school kids and college kids. Play the clip. But I went onto that stage just a few days later, and a general who's a fantastic general actually said to me, Sir, I've been on the battlefield. Men have gone down on my left and on my right. I stood on hills where soldiers were killed. But I believe the bravest thing I've ever seen was the night you went onto that stage with Hillary Clinton after what happened. And then that woman asked you the first question about it. And I said, locker room talk. It's locker room talk. What the hell? What are you talking? Locker room talk. <laughs> that was not a great. So we could open up Pandora's box and go into that history right there. but. If you hear someone speak like that, I mean, the fact, again, to me, this is never political. This is about human decency and character and just basic behavior. And as I watch that, I'm so, I'm just so repulsed by that. I'm repulsed by the fact that people support that. It's, it's, it's gross. It's, it's horrific. Words really can't even describe it. But I think it's important that we share this together and that you tell people and show people these videos, okay? Hit subscribe. I want to get to 4 million subscribers. Thanks for watching. Real quick, Meta just changed their algorithm to suppress political content. Please follow our Instagram at Midas Touch right now as we head towards 400,000 followers so you don't miss a beat.